welcome friends to yet another episode of ntv dialogues so as we know this is the midpoint since the governments worldwide committed to ntv by 2030 90 months have passed by and 90 months are left to 2030 today we have a very special guest a person who has been on the front lines of fighting tb in indonesia one of the tb hybrid in countries uh, dr imran pambudi is amongst us he is the national tb program manager there as well as uh, uh, it's very important to understand that he is one of those voices who have been not only fighting tb but also comorbidities like tobacco if you google on his name you will find lot of uh, sane news around tb tb comorbidities tb co infections social determinants and no wonder there has been progress in indonesia so currently he is the director of communicable disease prevention and control in indonesia's ministry of health he is a senior medical faculty of uh, air langa university and asian institute of health development program mahidol university in thailand so uh, so welcome dr imran very a uh, great very very honor to have you amongst us dr imran you were at the gandhi nagar also so uh, in the some ministerial southeast asia declaration was gandhi nagar declaration was adopted uh, that is will also give a good impetus to uh, tb uh, uh you know movement in 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 the world in at least in the region for sure so dr imran pambudi can you please tell us if indonesia is on track to ntb can you please give us an overview yeah so my sound is clear yes you can the sound hear my voice but yeah okay yeah Yeah, thank you. So Indonesia is still off track from achieving the post 2015 TB agenda. Our TB incidence has only declined by 10% compared to the level of 2015 by 2022. And also mortality rates have been decreased at a slow pace. And it seems that we might miss the milestones of 2020 and 2025 the negative additional challenges to our national tv program however i must highlight that we have made significant progress in rebounding from the ditches we faced between 2019 and 2022 you yeah thank yes. you bobby yes th- thank you dr imran so can you please let us know about the active case finding like how how um, the, has it increased or uh, is indonesia screening more people uh, for tb has the notification gone up because the screening is more and how is the screening happening WHO uh, guidelines say it should be happening with molecular tests. So, to what extent uh, people with presumptive TB get uh, molecular test uh, access? Over to you, sir. Yeah. So, uh, Indonesia has successfully transitioned. from microscopy to molecular testing for upfront diagnosis of presumptive tb cases more than 70% of new tb cases and also more than 95% of presumptive tb are now being diagnosed using molecular test so in addition financing the financial aspect of expanding and maintaining molecular testing has been a challenge there has a gap also between the financial needs and also the capacity to fulfill those needs so the condition about the, our molecular test yeah um The primary diagnostic tools for the TB program 
in Indonesia is a gene expert machines. Um, nowadays, we have around 2,300 gene expert machines available in 500 14 districts in Indonesia, procurement delays and also monitoring uh, risk stock availability in the facility level. And we also, I think we also still need to cover a larger portion of primary molecular testing. As uh, now currently only uh, among uh, around 1,100 machines, gene expert have been allocated uh, out of more than 6,700 microscopic centers. So if you want to replace yeah, the microscopic, see, so we, we still uh, have gap for that one. Back to you, Bobby. Yes, thank, thank you, you so sir. much, uh, Dr. Imran. It is very, uh, you know, inspiring to hear this 70% of presumptive TB cases get diagnosed using uh, or get screened using a uh, molecular test. This is a big, big uh, uh, progress. Uh, in India, we have uh, about, uh, as per the last report, uh, in 2022, we 23% uh, uh, tw of presumptive TB, 23% of presumptive TB cases were tested using molecular test, and uh, it's being scaled up. And the most molecular tests done in India are uh, by using TrueNet, which is uh, the WHO approved uh, point of care True. and decentralized uh, machine. Yeah. So I was wondering, uh, like, do, do you have TrueNet because of uh, its point of care is decentralized? Uh, I have seen it working in PHC. So also, uh, it's battery operated. So just uh, out of curiosity, I wanted to know this. So can you please elaborate on that? Thanks. Yeah. So I, I remember in 2020, yeah, we planned to purchase TrueNet from India. And then COVID-19 came. And suddenly, the government of India not allowed us to buy TrueNet at the time. Uh, and nowadays, we try also. Uh, now, now we we try to uh, new procurement to procure TrueNet around maybe fifteen. Yeah, eh, sorry, fifty machines, but it's still in the progress. We hope that in the tuna because like you say that it's a simple one and battery operated and i think those kind of machine is fit fit yeah fit for our health centers that place in the remote area so it's the lack of practical electricity and also uh not sufficient infrastructure i think this can this tuna will be the fit tools to diagnose TB in the primary health care. Back to you, Bobby. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Imran. Totally echo. And uh, uh, let's hope uh, uh, Indonesia is able to transition fully to molecular tests uh, and uh, same for other countries uh, because it's so important for to early and accurately diagnose tuberculosis yeah. and uh, and resistance as well to the yeah. uh, So, Dr. Imran, coming to uh, the treatment, uh, so are we uh, is Indonesia using uh, the 146, the one month uh, treatment for latent TB, four months for drug sensitive, or six months for drug resistant, and, or or are there plans for that as per the WHO guidelines? So just wanted to be uh, to to get an update from you on that. Over to you. Yeah. So nowadays we still use the six month regimen for drug sensitive TB. And uh, for the drug resistant DB, we still use the nine months, yeah. But now Indonesia is among the first implementers of the new DPAL, 
and people M for six months regimen for drug resistant DB patient. It plans to transition to wider programmatic settings by 2024. So uh, for the drug sensitive TB, NDP is also preparing to implement four, four, yeah, four month regimen, but still we, we, we uh, discuss with the expert because we be uh, very careful proof the set effect uh, mechanism to report platform and also the responsive patient support schemes are underway. Back to you, Bobby. Yes, thank you, Dr. Imran. And let um, uh, and the good news is that the price of bidaculine has come down. Uh, as per the news yesterday, by 55% uh, by Johnson & Johnson and also other. So uh, a Stop TB partnership had sent out uh, news yesterday. So let us hope that the bidaculine based mm. BPAL regimen Indonesia leads the region uh, in introducing it. And it's good, good, good news. So um, uh, Dr. Imran, uh, I read an article of... Uh, uh, several articles, uh, you know, of Doctor yeah. of uh, my friend Rita Vidyadana. She was editor at the Jakarta Post earlier, and uh, of you, um, you were talking about tub tub tuberculosis and tobacco. Both go together hand in hand. Can you please, uh, sir, share some messages on why it is important? Why collaborative activities between uh, how tobacco, tuberculosis, diabetes, etc., connected, and why responses is so important? Over to you. Yeah. So, based on our global TB report, smoking is one of the TB, what we call um, comorbidities. Yeah, I mean that if someone smoking, it's uh, they can have a chance, more chance to to have tuberculosis. And so that's why in Indonesia we. We try to uh, combine, yeah, combine the approach of TB cessation and also um, tobacco, sorry, tobacco cessation and TB program. So it means that uh, we we have a several pilots project, yeah, in several several health. Uh, facilities to combine this one. And nowadays, uh, in our health information system, TB information system, we have the information about uh, whether the patient smoker or not. Yeah. And in our pilot project, if the TB patient is smoker, so we will uh, the the health provider will give them consultation or advice to stop smoking. Yeah. And, and when the patient, a TB patient, the next week or, or next two weeks, uh, the health provider also asks whether the patient yeah, stop smoking or not if they yeah, are not stop smoking so the what we call the special consultant yeah the one who can give more advice will come to the clinic to the tb clinic and give him the advice about how to stop smoking i think this is a very uh important important things since we uh, we don't want to lose the chance yeah because usually yeah smokers will stop smoking if they get sick yeah so when they get sick and then we uh, give them a price at at face to uh, stop smoking, usually it works like that one. Obi, back to you. 
Yes, thank you. Thank you so much uh, again, uh, Dr. Imran. Very, very important message from you to, uh, you know, to, to not only fight TB, but also it's the risk factors like tobacco use, um, you know, malnutrition, etc. In India, also uh, tobacco, HIV, diabetes, malnutrition, and uh, forgetting one more, um, have been the top five risk factors for TB as per the global TB report. So Dr. Imran, as we know, every case of active TB disease comes from latent TB, pool, pool of latent TB. So uh, how, how much Indonesia has progressed in addressing latent TB infection or TB, prevent, TB, TB prevention? Over to you. Uh, yeah. The definition under the TB prevention therapy are in progress. But currently, the coverage of TPT among PLHIV, children under five years old, and also household contacts still remain low. And we need innovative services delivery system, stronger communication platform, and also sufficient logistics. And you also, I think, Bobby, you also aware that nowadays, the global, we cannot find rifampentin in the global market because every country may be chasing or want to procure, but the availability is very hard to find the rifampentin. So I think this also a uh, challenge, yeah, challenge for us to overcome the latent TV in the future. So I think the logistic should be uh, safe yeah, to uh, to fight the latent TB. Back to you, Bobby. Yes, totally uh, agree, uh, Dr. Imran. Uh, logistics and supply chain needs to be so more robust. Uh, not only the Fapentine, even mm. India is, uh, as per the news, is uh, currently reeling with um, you know, TB drug shortages of uh, certain medicines in some parts, which is really alarming. You know, like uh, we we produce uh, so many medicines, generic versions and stuff. But this th th this definitely we need. Uh, there is no confusion about it. We need strong logistics and support on the ground. And let us hope that happens. So, Doctor Imran, can you uh, please share some insights on uh, based upon your experience? What can we do more in the coming ninety months so that the progress on TB uh, is, is you know on ending to TB rather is uh, you know is faster and is, is stronger. Uh, some few things you have already mentioned, for example, strong supply chain, it's so strong logistics, so and so many other things. Hundred percent molecular testing, med, uh, rollout of latest regimens. So, is there anything in addition which you would like to highlight? Please, sir, this is the good. Oops. Yeah, Bobby, thanks for the uh, questions. Yeah. So I think the current, current effort is progressive enough, yeah, but may not be sufficient to meet more ambitious target. TB control program need new tools to accelerate the TB agenda, such as uh, TB drugs, uh, shorter regimen for care and prevention, near point of care, Care diagnosis more sensitive yet affordable active case finding and also real time data. And also, we need accountable multi sectoral commitment and contributing fact platform, increasing resources for innovative interventions with innovative financing, bottom up approach, start at the pilot level and strategies for community engagement and behavior change. And also I want to highlight about we should also uh, fighting of stigma and discrimination because this stigma and discrimination will lead the PB patient to stop of medication and also uh, stigma and discrimination is also make people don't want to be notificated or identified. So still many things to do, but yeah, I think 
we are in the uh, correct yeah cut way but still needs something to accelerate back to you baby thank you dr imran we have taken lot of your time before we let you go please sir we will like to hear your words uh, what is your call to the world leaders at the un high level meeting uh, on tv uh, later this month uh, and thanks a lot for your support to gandhi nagar declaration of who ministerial meeting which happened last month so that was a powerful gandhi nagar declaration let us hope more powerful commitments come up at the un high level meeting so what is your call sir over to you yeah yeah so uh, we recognize that tb is not just a health issue but a fact societies economies and overall well-being these challenges with evident based strategies you know fatty financing and a whole of of the approach we reaffirm our unwavering commitment to ending tb within our borders and contributing to leader to unite in support of the unsrm on tb and it's a opportunity for political leaders to rate progress toward ending tb by 2030 back to you bobby yes thank you uh, so much uh, uh, dr imran in india as we would say amin and let us hope that your words come true and uh, more power comes from the un high level meeting which gives a push to the global fight to ntb so thanks a lot dr imran again for uh, for speaking to us uh, so friends uh, who have joined us late we were speaking to dr imran pambodi director of communicable disease prevention and control indonesian ministry of health in this episode of ntb dialogues 90 for 90 global voices series he is also senior medical faculty of air langa university and asian institute of health development program at mahidol university thailand so thanks a lot uh, dr imran power to you for unhlm and later and uh, all the best for your continued efforts uh, for strengthening tb response in indonesia thanks a lot sir bye 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 thank you bobby